Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. And this morning I'm looking at a book which has come to us from Oxford University Press, OUP. It's a first class book on com um, comparative law. It's been written by Professor Yui uh, Kischel and it's been translated from the German by Andrew Hamel. Let's have a look at the book first of all. There it is. It's a very heavy book. That's the front. There's the spine. And then there's the back. And what you've got inside is a little bit of blurb about other OUP books. These are handbooks, a handbook of comparative law and so forth. Then at the front you've got a little bit about um, Professor Kishel, who uh, I will tell you about in a few minutes. And when we look at the book, the book itself is a heavy book, as I say, and it runs to something approaching uh, just under a thousand pages. The index at the back, although as I say it's a heavy book, the index at the back is by page numbering and it's quite a detailed index. It's quite useful to have it. Um, obviously it's useful to see the structure. That's the structure of the index <coughs> at the back. And then we look at the book itself. You can see this is right at the back. There's footnoting and paragraph numbering. You can see that right at the back. We go to the front of the book to say it as it's balancing it quite heavily. There is the uh, front page, it mentions the translator. There is the detail from OUP on that side, and then there's a dedication. We always review books we think are important, and the amount of work that goes into these books is very substantial. So we're very grateful to the authors when they dedicate it to someone who's meant a lot to them with the help, because they all have to have a lot of help. I know because I've written the books and I've required help myself. Um, there's a little quote from Popper as well, which is uh, quite indicative of the book itself. Then we get into the preface there. Let's say it's a heavy book, this one, uh, from uh, the professor. And then the content section, uh, which is very detailed. You can see the, um, the huge amount of information that's actually uh, put in. The various parts are structured there as well. You can see as we run through the various chapter numbers. Um, as I said, it's a very daunting subject that he's chosen, but of course comparative law is an important area, um, and very much so now as we become more global in our approach. You can see the running through the, uh, the actual chapter, the different countries he covers, uh, and then right at the end you've, you've, you've got chapter 11, uh, the context of what's called transnational law. Then we get the various parts that are structured here. And the first one being general aspects of comparative law. And you can see the way the book is structured. You've got um, some um, subheading numbering, you've got the footnoting, and then you've got paragraph numbering, which is that side. Okay, so if you open it up a bit more, you can see the paragraph numbering there there and of course on the other side there. So as I say it's a it's a very solid book apart from anything else because it's solid in the sense of being a heavy book but solid in the sense of the content because the content is I think very important and we're very blessed to have these books from Oxford University Press because uh, they really do give us a statement of where the law is and it's of great help to both researchers academics and practitioners. So what do we say? We've given it a title, a comprehensive treatise on comparative law from OUP. And this is what we say. Professor Yui um, Kishel succinctly introduces his subject with these words. Many attorneys, law students, judges and legal scholars feel a need to look beyond the narrow national boundaries of their profession to take a closer look at foreign law and at the way foreign lawyers think. And how right he is, that's exactly what this book is about. Comparative law studies have been of increasing interest, we think, recently, with this change in global issues underpinning so much of what we do today. And there may be people who don't like it, but the fact is that's what is happening in the 21st century. And these books, I think, are of great value to younger people coming up who are going to be faced with these issues as we get towards the middle of the century. Now, comparative law studies, as I say, um, are an area which in the past have tended to be ignored. We're getting a lot more books in this area now. So the new title from OUP arrives, I think, at just the right time as we shape our legal structures for the 2020s. And it's a long book, about a thousand pages. 
and it's being translated from the German, where um, Professor Kischel is Mercantor Professor of Public Law, European Law and Comparative Law, University of Griefswald. The translator is Andrew Hamel, who has undertaken this major enterprise as an indefatigable translator of rare gifts, and that's actually the professor's words. Without doubt, Yui's work is rightly described as a, by OUP as a comprehensive treatise on comparative law, offering a critical introduction to the central tenets of comparative legal scholarship. And that's what you're getting. We couldn't put it better, frankly, ourselves, uh, because that is a succinct, succinct statement of, of what he actually is aimed, aimed to do. The book's divided into different parts. First one covers general aspects of comparative law, a uh, controversial, quest uh, controversial <coughs> question of methods is addressed in detail with an explanation and discussion of different approaches that have been taken and by the development of a contextual approach which investigates and engages in real world issues and offers a useful practitioner's angle on contemporary uh, comparative legal scholarship. And the second part of the book, the reader then is given a detailed treatment of the major legal contexts across the globe and it reviews what you will probably be looking for, including the common law and civil law systems uh, coming from Germany and France, as well as case studies of Eastern Europe, Scandinavia and Latin America, in addition to some of the other systems. So it really does cover a, a wide range. We still obviously have the greatest system in the world here in England, which is the common law, and that has been given to very many jurisdictions. And frankly, we've borrowed bits and pieces. So one of these days, everything will come together in a, probably a much more sensible global structure. But that's one, some way off, probably another century before that happens. Now, the handbook reviews the African context as well, which I found interesting, because obviously there are very substantial issues in African law, which again, the University of London in particular has highlighted. I know this is Oxford, but London have done their own stuff too. So I'll rally the cause for London, because it specifically emphasises with African law, custom, then we look at Asian jurisdictions, Islamic law and the law of Islamic countries, plus, of course, a useful commentary on Jewish law and canon law, because, again, there is very much always the religious interface. And finally, you've got right at the back of the book, transnational concept, contexts covering public international law, European Union law and Lex Mercantoria. Again, very important because obviously the basis of an awful lot of our law comes from custom and merchants selling things. If you go back um, actually centuries and millennia, you'll see you know where, where we actually it all sort of came from. So let me conclude by saying this. What we get here is a work which gives us a coherent treatment of global legal systems. Its aim is not only to depict their varying norms and legal institutions, but to offer a better way of seeking to understand how the overall context of legal systems influences legal thinking, legal theory as well, and legal practice. And we think it does that in spades. So very, very many thanks to um, Professor Kishel and also to um, Andrew Hamill for the first class translation. The date of publication of the handbook, the hardback book rather, is cited as at the 28th of February 2019. Let's just have one last look at it. It's a very heavy book, that one, there it is, the front and the side and then the back. There's a bit of blurb on the back there. And then right in the middle, I'm just opening it up in the middle. Courts and um, <clears throat> jurists. And this is the basic context of civil law. So when it's comparative law, this is civil law. And you can see the structure. It's looking at different countries. You've got the paragraph numbering. In this case, it's Germany. Paragraph numbering at the sides there and there. And obviously a lot of footnoting, which you can see at the bottom there. Courts and jurists, and in this case, it's Germany. And then it's looking again, it goes on to look at various other areas. And again, I think very, very important, very detailed information is enclosed. Uh, obviously, um, I think it will be of primary uh, relevance to uh, researchers. But this book, I think, is very much a book for the future. So thank you to all. And 
A very big thanks to Oxford University Press for continuing to publish these first class books. You make our lives a lot easier by doing so and uh, we're very thankful to you for, for taking this, uh, these onerous duties on. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.